Hello, in this video I'm going to focus on one approach to use for postdoctoral jobs in academia and outside academia. The concept I want to talk about is the three I's and using this before you start to write. It's about how you can address the challenges of making it through to an interview shortlist. The employer will initially want to discard as many applications as possible. They may decide quickly whether or not to read your application based on the ease of reading and being able to see what they are looking for from the person and the job specification. The first eye is interest. The employer has prepared a job description and person specification so they know who and what they are looking for. It's extremely important that the first page of your CV, your application form answers, or the beginning of your cover letter emphasise the main experiences, skills and work behaviours you, you believe will interest them. In your CV, especially for jobs outside academia, a few succinct career headlines might work more effectively than a longer narrative profile. These headlines can then link to clear and interesting titles and subtitles. So do try to avoid general headings like work experience or relevant experience and use something more specific. For application form answers and cover letters, try using an assert justify writing style rather than an argue conclude approach. Read Parker and Derrington's blog on assert justify writing. The second eye is immediate. The recruiter needs to immediately identify that you have experience and skills that will be used or developed in the job. One way to achieve immediate impact is to use succinct career headlines, as I've just mentioned. This type of approach is usually used in applications for roles outside academia. You could, for example, highlight the number of years experience you have as a researcher, but in a broader discipline context. Perhaps specific skills and experiences you have could also be used. Academic CVs, however, retain a traditional approach and person pro personal profiles or career headlines are not as widely used. You may feel that at the start of an academic career, you haven't got many headlines. This is quite normal for the majority of PhDs, so don't let this prevent you from making applications. Your academic colleagues still need to read a succinct review of your research and to see immediately the experiences and techniques you have related to the job. The third eye is impact. Without stating the obvious, all your application documents need to make a good first visual impression. They should be clearly set out and relevant. If the first page of your CV is dominated by a long list of qualifications and other pertinent inform information and experience is less obvious, then you could lessen the impact you make. If your cover letter merely repeats your CV and narrative style and your application form answers concentrate on descriptions, rather than activity, then you will have missed opportunities to make an impact. So before you write a new application, or if you're already working on some, then stop and consider whether you are interesting your reader immediately and making an initial positive impact on them.